Hey, hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, November 15th to the 17th of 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Sagittarius, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere, the basis and the issue of the matter. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, fire energy, your element, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is a card of movement, can be of travel. This person is on a mission. This can be a change of residence. It's quick movement. It can be messages. This is someone that's impatient. This is an immigration, quick departure, a coming or going of a matter. Knights are younger in spirit, if not age, than the king or queens, and they're less established in life. They're very passionate. They're eager, and they're full of self-confidence, yet they do not always know where they're going, and without those concrete plans, they can burn out before they achieve their goals. This can be a kickstart that someone spurs you on. This can be riding towards an encounter. Knights are messengers and travels. There's definitely action involved. They can bring good news concerning work or social activities. These glad tidings can relate to almost any anticipated happy event, the journey or a vacation, that change of residence or job, or an engagement or a marriage. Knights are driven by passion for a cause, and passion is the cause for the Knight of Wands. If it hastens the pulse or spikes the adrenaline or raises the stakes, this knight charges after it. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences that you are unaware of. The King of Swords, Sagittarius, air energy. This could be a person or an aspect of yourself with air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is someone that has complete mastery over the element of air that has to do with your mind and your thoughts. And someone that's a real overthinker, they can be mentally st stimulating. They're involved with mental work. They're blunt and abrupt, and they speak with eloquence, and they can give sound advice. And they always speak the truth, so listen for the correct approach. This person is a direct communicator, a clear thinker, and an absolute professional. His decisions are based on careful thought, and he values fairness and knows his own truth and he will not bend to peer pressure or societal norms. He has high ethical standards. They're confident and self-assured, yet they seem aloof and detached. And they're good at thinking on their feet, and they have a backbone. Success comes first, so he holds back his heart. He's not one that considers emotions of himself or others when they're in conflict with logic or ethics. He knows something. He has a connection. The Knight of Wands with the King of Swords, this can be spontaneous decisions or truthful information. This can be a legal professional or, professional or even a realtor. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of, which can be your attitude. The Ten of Wands, Sagittarius, Fire Energy. This is a need to bear up because you're feeling overloaded, burdened by life. Responsibility may be wearing you down, you could be oppressed. This can represent someone Saturn in Sagittarius. This is a problem that's soon to be solved. Tens are always about beginnings and endings. These are ambitious burdens, a heart tried by pain. It's fortune and gain and any kind of success and then it's also the oppression of these things. You might be feeling resentful and taking stock of priorities, taking up new responsibilities appropriate to the new cycle that's beginning now. They may seem burdensome, but you do have the strength to shoulder them. You feel you can do anything at this time, even an extremely difficult task. 
The Knight of Wands with the Ten of Wands, this can represent a competitive career. And now your fourth card. It's the future. It's the results. The outcome and the resolution. And any time uh, there is a future prediction, it can come as a surprise. The Four of Pentacles, Sagittarius, Earth Energy. This is holding on. It's being defensive in your comfort zone. This is trying to be stable and secure. This is conserving. It's being cautious, trying to balance. It's someone's son in Capricorn. You're protecting your money and your boundaries. But the advice is to go with the flow because your foundation is firm. You might feel like you're stuck in a rut, but nothing ventured is nothing gained. You might want to take a risk and get things moving again. Holding on to his gold, he risks nothing, nor does he gain anything. This can also apply to anything someone holds dear, like being a miser with your love and emotion as well as money. Bragging or fawning will not get you ahead, so be patient and cultivate your best talents. You may be in danger of becoming too stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. All you are unable to give possesses you. The Knight of Wands with the Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles can represent a successful financial venture. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because you're not sharing with others yet, yet you are consciously aware of this. The King of Cups, Sagittarius. This is your second king in the layout, which represents minor council. The King of Cups, this can be a person, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is someone that holds in complex emotions. They're caring and sensitive and calm. They can be a healer or a counselor. They're utterly trustworthy, relaxed, and non-threatening. They're reliable, and they have a positive outlook. This can also indicate they're interested in the arts. They're a creative type. This is a situation that's favorable, especially if it's artistic. This is someone that comes through when you need them. They're the master of emotions, and they can change their moods at will. They can be found in a helping position, yet they need to stay in touch with their feelings. This is being sensitive and self-possessed, compassionate, cool under pressure. They may be controlling or concealing emotions, meditating, counseling, ministering, intuiting other people's needs, keeping confidences, providing emotional support from a position of strength. They're a wonderful counselor and advisor because they really do care. The Knight of Wands with the King of Cups, this is advancing in maturity or work in philosophy or psychology or public relations or politics like that. The King of Swords with the Ten of Wands, this is not allowing distractions from their goal. King of Swords with the Four of Pentacles, this is giving it some thought or advice to stay put. The King of Swords with the King of Cups, this is caring without losing objectivity. The Ten of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. This is working hard towards financial stability. The Ten of Wands with the King of Cups. This is working hard for success. And the Four of Pentacles with the King of Cups represents someone who is generous. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. Sagittarius, you've got Lotus Flower, which represents unfoldment. Lotus Flower. The lotus flower sits upon one of its leaves, having risen to the surface, as the sun, held in the hand of God, invites it upward to the light. This unique plant is rooted in the mud and muck at the bottom of a body of water, its stem reaching up to the surface, where the leaves rest quietly. At night the flower closes and sinks below the surface, only to rise with the daylight and once again gradually unfold its petals, its stem extending above the water line three feet or more. What we learn from this amazing plant is how our own spiritual path unfolds and opens to the light, then at times gently folds in on itself for a proper rest when the daylight fades. This period is just as necessary for the growth, for it allows the plant to integrate what it has gained in nourishment during the day. It also just as important that it is rooted, 
and it is yet another miracle of nature that something so exquisitely beautiful is formed from mud and silt at the water's bottom. Sagittarius, your spiritual unfoldment is occurring at all times whether or not you are aware of it. It is inevitable as long as you put your trust in the hands of the Creator, the one who holds the light. Like the lotus, your soul is always reaching for the light to fulfill its karmic destiny. But even in that process, there are periods of darkness and times to rest. It is a natural cycle, one that cannot truly be coerced or halted. It has an innate rhythm of its own, one that is unique to the being that is you. You do not need to strive or be driven by spiritual ambition. It does no good to try to force growth upon yourself or others, for that matter. Allowing is the key here. Allow the place in you that naturally wants to follow the light, to do so while recognizing that even when you have complete faith, you will face challenges and, occasionally, suffering. Your steady faith and love will guide you on your journey of returning to the light. Thanks, you guys, Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.